In this video, I'm going to show you how Spit Flames and GT Sport with a controller and a steering wheel. It doesn't work that well with the controller, but it works incredible with a steering wheel. So I went to controller settings and I went to R1 and L1. I made R1 shift up and L1 shift down. Normally it would be square and X as shift up and shift down, but I switched them to see if it would do anything better. And it actually did, but it doesn't work as good as it would with a steering wheel because you have the shifter or H pattern shifter so here's what happened I went to the track and I wanted to see how it would act and it did not really go that great you didn't really see the flames so here's what I came up with So as you can see, that is spinning flames, but it's not doing it as much as I would want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my steering wheel. This is the setup on the steering wheel. When you have a H pattern shifter, you want to have it to where you can shift it up and shift it down. You have to do this very, very quickly in order for it to spit massive and a lot of flames as if you were using nitrous or something on a Need for Speed type game. So this is how it's supposed to look. That right there is how it's supposed to look. And this is preview of it. And that is how you spit massive flames. You see how it's shooting all those flames. It's insane. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have a G29 or any type of steering wheel with a H pattern shifter, try this and see if you can get it to work even better and even faster. And you can spit many flames, even more than I am in this video. I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you next time.